Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to import a model uh, from a CAD software to uh, Trematics and apply the mesh configuration uh, to the model components uh, and then uh, import that to Minix for applying the material properties. Um, so to do that, uh, you need to adjust your uh, current model that you already uh, brought uh, from a CAD software uh, to Trematics uh, with uh, your model that you uh, get from CD scan in Minix. Uh, so for uh, applying, for importing uh, the files, you need to go to File, Import Parts and uh, navigate to your direction that you save the seal files. You need to save files to um, uh, import uh, the CAD files uh, into Trematic software. You can choose uh, your components and then uh, click open. Uh, so in import STL files window, you need to uh, check the fixed normals and also split surfaces uh, to have your uh, complete model in Trematics. And also uh, you need to consider uh, the scale coefficients, uh, which uh, in my case is uh, millimeter, because I used uh, millimeter units um, in the CAD software that I used, and then click OK. So uh, this is the model that um, I have. It's a pretty simple model. Uh, you can import um, components as much as you want, uh, but my in this case, uh, my model has just two components. Uh, so to applying the mesh configuration, you need to, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, way uh, to applying the mesh, mesh configuration and also uh, adjusting the model, uh, but a little bit tricky. Uh, so for uh, the first thing that you need to do is going to the smooth shader and um, change the smooth shader to fill with uh, triangle edges so that uh, you can see the difference uh, between the current uh, mesh configuration and the mesh configuration that you want to apply. Uh, so the next, um, the next thing that you need to do is going to the remesh tab uh, so in the Remesh tab, you have uh, some options for applying the mesh configuration. Um, adaptive, adaptive mesh, uniform mesh, and um, so on. Um, so what I would suggest is using adaptive mesh because um, so uniform mesh. Uh, if you if your uh, model's geometry is not important to you. You can use the uniform remesh because uh, when you use uniform remesh, uh, it will change your uh, model geometry a little bit uh, for adjusting the mesh configuration uh, with your model. Uh, but if your if the geometry of your model is important to you, uh, which is in most of the cases is uh, important, uh, you need to uh, use adaptive mesh. So it's not going to change uh, the geometry. Um, so click Adaptive Mesh and in the right uh, window, you can see um, the entity. Uh, so you can uh, click um, on your models, on your models components. All of, all of them at the same time. So I have two components, scapula and base plate. Um, and I chose both of them. Uh, so for parameters, uh, it is target triangle edge length. Um, so for considering this number, uh, I already used uh, the mesh configuration study in Abacus software. So you need to, um, like, um, before uh, doing this uh, mesh configuration, you need to uh, import your model to a finite element uh, analysis. Uh, software and do the mesh conversions on analysis uh, to get your 
um, desire um, mesh length. So I, I've already did that and it was uh, 1.6 for my model uh, millimeter, uh, 1.6 millimeter. And also you need to check the preserved surface con um, contours. Um, so after uh, you chose this, you need to click to apply. So as you can see, uh, the mesh configuration has changed for both uh, the base plate and also uh, the scapula. So after uh, you apply the mesh configuration, it, it is going to apply the mesh uh, just on the surfaces uh, of your model. Um, so after this, you need to go to um, a remesh tab again and create volume mesh. So you need to create a volume mesh instead of just a surface mesh. So uh, for volume mesh, you need to, uh, for entities, you need to just select one by one. Um, so the first one is base plate that the software automatically uh, chose. Um, so uh, the element type uh, would be um, task four. And you need to check control edge length again. And uh, also maximum edge length would be uh, the number that you get uh, from uh, mesh convergence analysis. Also, you need to check also the mesh solid volume only and also uh, group by materials. Um, so you need to click apply. Uh, and in, in the logger, um, at the bottom uh, window, you can um, see the information of uh, applying the um, volume mesh uh, configuration. Uh, so after that, you need to delete uh, the current entity and chose the other one, which is a scapula in my case, and then uh, uh, adjust these mesh parameters information and then click to apply again. So it takes only less than 10 minutes, 10 uh, seconds, I think. Yeah, so um, we have our models meshed. Uh, so the next thing that you need to do is um, because you want to apply the uh, material um, properties uh, to your model. Um, if your model is heterogeneous, like my scapula is heterogeneous, so I need to apply uh, the material prop material uh, material properties um, with considering the uh, density uh, that it has. Uh, so I need to uh, import the model into um, uh, Mimix and then apply um, that uh, material proper properties on that. Uh, so I need to uh, adjust this model that I already got uh, imported from the CAD model uh, with the model uh, that is already um, in the uh, Mimix software, uh, like the scan model, CD scan model. Uh, so uh, the next thing uh, would be uh, you need to go to um, uh, Mimix software and uh, choose your uh, and also you need uh, you you already need to um, like make your 3D um, uh, geometry uh, from your CD scan. So I, I already uh, I've already done that. And uh, this is the final smooth and wrap um, scapula that I made. So you need to um, copy um, this part uh, from the object section. Um, and um, this window will pop up, copy object to clipboard. You need to select your uh, objects to copy, which is the last thing that you want. Um, I mean, in the complete model, which in my case is final smooth wrap. Uh, I saved the name uh, like this. And you need to click OK. And then simply, uh, so you just basically, you, just, you need to go to the object tree, 
week and and uh, control V and here you have your scapula model uh, the first model so this is uh, the current model that you got from you you have already imported from a CAD model a CAD software and this is um, the scapula that you imported from um, the Mimic software. So uh, right now you need to adjust these two models together. Um, so click cancel in the operation. Uh, you need to go to align tab and uh, you need to use um, two feature um, endpoints registration and also global registration. So at first you need to uh, click endpoint uh, registration. You need to um, select the fixed entity, which is uh, the model that you imp you've imported from uh, Mimix. And then uh, moving entity, which is um, your um, current model, uh, one of your components of your current model that you want to adjust to this, which in my case is scapula. And uh, in moving along entity uh, section, you need to change the other components that you have. So in my case, it would be just uh, the base plate. And then I hit apply. Um, so here uh, you, need, you, you can see uh, three windows. Um, so what you need to do is uh, just um, choose at least um, three points uh, in your both models uh, so they can adjust together. So uh, I'm gonna choose this one with this one, uh, this one and this one, this and this. And finally, at the superior edge of the glenoid cavity. Um, so yeah, at first you need to uh, choose. You need to choose a points in a fixed uh, entity, and then in a moving part, uh, and then so apply. So this will be. Uh, the adjustion uh, as you can see it's not completely adjusted with a fixed part um, so if you want you can um, do the uh, endpoint registration again uh, but what it would suggest is uh, going to the global registration and again uh, choose the fixed entity and for moving entity it would be scapula and again moving along entity with the other uh, components that you have, which in my case is base plate. And, uh, and you need to hit apply. So um, in, this, um, in this window, the bottom window that you can see, uh, when you hit apply, uh, there will be an average distance error after 10 iteration. Uh, so you need to hit apply. And when you hit apply, it, the models uh, are going to um, like adjust again um, once you hit apply. So um, you need to hit apply as long as it, um, you get the same number uh, for the average distance error after 10 iteration. So um, I got a same number, so I don't need to uh, hit it apply again so the model is um, completely adjusted the two models as you can see and uh, our model now is ready to uh, import it to uh, mimic software uh, so you can hit uh, cancel here uh, and also uh, you need to hide um, the fixed entity scapula. So uh, it is simple again uh, to import 
uh, this model into uh, Mimic software. So uh, all you need to do is um, choose uh, your components, uh, which in, is, in my case is two components, and then um, yeah, you can just uh, control C and then go to Mimic software and need to find the element part, uh, analysis part, uh, just control V. So it's gonna copy your model uh, in the finance element section. And it takes uh, like five seconds or so. Uh, so you can uh, also change the uh, name of your uh, components because it's some in some situation um, your components name are so long um, and it will be problematic uh, when you import your uh, model into Abacus software uh, because Abacus cannot uh, understand some parts with uh, like long names so you need to uh, consider a short name for each part uh, so yeah this is your uh, model two models uh, you can just hide the super scapula um, so yeah this is your uh, this will be your model um, into uh, your ready model ready to uh, applying the material properties model and um, there is one trick that you need to know when you uh, like when you apply the um, volume mesh configuration properly uh, when you re when you t uh, return the model there will be no uh, meshes here as you can see when I uh, return the model um, the whole window uh, is white now so it is properly uh, meshed uh, so I hope this video uh, was helpful to you uh, so what I'm gonna uh, do for the next uh, project uh, for the next video uh, I'm gonna uh, show you how to apply the material properties to your uh, models uh, which in this case is a scapula model because as I mentioned it's heterogeneous so if you have any heterogeneous mod uh, components um, the best thing to do for applying the mechanical properties is using uh, this way using the uh, mimic software um, yeah that's it